it's weird because you know that that's that's the record for most Hope's Fall fans, right? Is yeah. satellite years, and and I can't inflict or influence um, anyone's perception of the record, and that's what's really cool about music is you hear it differently than I hear it. You have memories tied to it that I don't have tied to it, and I respect that, you know. But for me personally, that was a really hard record to make. I was in a very bad place when we made that record. And when I listen to it, that's what I hear because that was my experience. That being said, I was very proud of what we were making. It's not that Satellite Years is not special to me. It is. There was just stuff going on. There was just stuff going on. And and that was band stuff, you know. Uh, know, Two weeks after we made the record, I was was out, you know. So was the stuff that you were dealing with during the Satellite Years strictly banned stuff that you had to sort through? No, it was just, you know, early 20s, you don't know who you are stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was I was in a long-term relationship, you know, that was pretty serious. I had graduated college. I would moved back in with my parents, part, partly to do the band, um, so we could actually afford to do it. We got signed by Trustkill, which was kind of a whirlwind thing in my head, although it's kind of foggy. Um, we got shipped off to make a record with our hero, you know, uh, Matt from Hum. And, and and I was the, the intimidation level there was real for me because, I, you know, I was a young kid and, and this was a guy that arguably changed my life musically. So there was all of that swirling around. It's like, do I want to move and be with this person that I was dating at the time? Do I want to pursue a career? What would that even look like? I don't even know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to live with my parents because that feels weird. And then just some of the stuff going on in the band creatively and and just emotionally, it it was just all of that stuff kind of smashing together, really, you know, uh, all at the same time. And, And, you know, looking back on it, you know, you have more clarity, but, you know, I was just in a, I was depressed. I I mean, that's what it was. Um, I just didn't know it, you know, and I I don't know what contributed to that depression. I just think I was confused. I think, I think I was a confused kid. (laughs) Yeah. You know, so two weeks after the record is out, you said you're out of the band. That's my recollection. Yes. It could have been so what happened? Well, we, we, we made the record, right? We, we spent two weeks with Matt mm-hmm. um, in his studio in Tolono, Illinois, which is the middle of nowhere. We had some time off in between tracking and mixing and mastering. So in the interim, I had some time off. So I went to go see the girl I was dating at the time to spend time with her. And that's when I got a phone call. And, you know, it was, uh, hey, we're going to go on the road this summer without you. Um, and that was kind of that, you know, th- then I was kind of adrift for the better part of 2002, you know, didn't really know what was next. We had lived our whole lives together. I mean, y- you forget like Hope's Fall had only existed for about f- four years to that point, but our friendships had been lifelong. So, you know, not only was I not in the band anymore? I, I lost my friends. That and that was as painful to me as not being in the band. Yeah. Um, you know, because there was, at least my recollection of it, there was kind of a break, and we didn't speak um, for quite a while. And I kind of focused on, you know, just ha- just going to work and hanging out with my girlfriend at the time kind of just aimless, like, I don't know what to do, you know, because when you're that young, the band was everything to me at that stage in my life. You know, it was, it, it was my life. I, I had devoted all of my energy to it and then it's just gone. And, you know, I felt like uh, the rug was kind of pulled out from under me. Um, and, and, and I had a lot of soul searching to do. And, and, and a lot of it was working on myself, I think, um, trying to be Um, a more cooperative person in the midst of a group setting. And and that's part of being in a band, 